fire. KCRA 3's Mallory Hoff is live near Pollock Pines with the latest on the firefight. Mallory. And from this vantage point, you can actually make out the southwestern outline of this fire. You can see the flames off in the distance. You can also see here what crews are up against. Very steep, rugged terrain, making it extremely difficult to get firefighting equipment in and out. Flames illuminated the night sky in El Dorado County near Pollock Pines. Earlier, an overwhelming plume of smoke could be seen hovering over the wind fueled wildfire. Crews battled the blaze from the air, making periodic drops and from the ground with bulldozers and hand crews. The fire is just heartbreaking. It's just heartbreaking. I, I feel for the people, I feel for the firefighters. My son's a firefighter, and, and my. They're in my heart and they're in my prayer. As flames intensified, a crew was forced to deploy a fire shelter. They were able to uh, safely uh, evacuate and exit the area without any injuries. Cal Fire crews say in the afternoon hours, the fire spread in the direction of Highway 50 near Fresh Pond, prompting voluntary evacuations in that area. Suitcases, clothes, and personal belongings. If this fire jumps 50, your home would be in the path, potentially. Absolutely. Yeah. I'd be out there with the hose. As crews worked, one lane of Highway 50 westbound was shut down. The fire's direction has since shifted. Crews say it's now burning parallel to 50. Crews are monitoring the situation. In an evening briefing, community members applauded when they learned no structures have been destroyed. But for those who are under a mandatory evacuation, a nervous wait continues. It was just a weird feeling leaving and not thinking I might not see it again. Tonight, there are just under 1,500 people involved in getting this fire under control. We have asked crews if they're able to give us any indication of when they might be able to see some containment on this fire. They said still no word tonight.